Uh, well, my name is Haley Thomas. I'm 14 years old. I was born in Dallas, Texas, but I currently live in Tucson, Arizona. And um, my dad is actually um, what has inspired me to uh, do all that I'm doing now with being a health advocate and the founder of my happy organization. Um, in 2008, he was actually diagnosed with type 2 diabetes and of course this was a huge shock to our family. We weren't really sure what to do, but one thing that we all loved was cooking and eating good food. And so we took our passion for cooking and eating good food and turned that into appreciating healthy foods and putting twists on our favorite recipes to make them nutritious and delicious for our entire family. And um, over a few years we were able to reverse his diabetes and that inspired me because I learned so much along the way through the journey I learned about where food comes from, how it grows, how it affects our bodies and I also learned about how kids are getting type 2 diabetes and are becoming obese and have heart disease and all of these things and I really started to think about it and that it could have been me, I could have gotten type 2 diabetes if we hadn't turned our lifestyle around. And so that really inspired me to start speaking to kids about how to eat healthier. My mom took us all to the library and we just sat there for hours looking through all of these books on how to reverse different diseases with healthy foods and increase physical activity and all of these things that we really weren't paying attention to, more just enjoying what we were enjoying and kind of you know, not being aware of all of these things that happen behind the scenes. And so learning about like processed foods and genetically modified organisms and how all of that is impacting us as we are consuming it was really eye-opening. And as a seven-year-old, you don't really know what to do about it, but you know that you just have to take the steps to improve your health. And if you care about yourself and your family, then it's just what you have to do and I think um, for my area of expertise being a health adv advocate for kids I don't have a degree in nutrition but I have really hands-on real-life experiences with health and how fragile that can be and how important it is to improve um, your personal health and the health of your family and I've been able to inspire others to take control of their health including children to really recognize the importance of health and well-being by starting my own organization called HAPPY, which stands for Healthy, Active, Positive, Purposeful Youth. And so we teach nutrition education, cooking classes, and physical activities to kids in underserved communities because those are the kids who really don't have access to the education that they need to learn about how soda affects them when they then when they drink it and how too much salt, sugar, and fat can really develop all of these diseases that um, kids are starting to get. Some of the challenges that um, I've faced while doing this is definitely people thinking that I'm too young to be telling anyone to do anything um, just because I'm not formally educated, <laughs> but I think that it's really telling these real life stories and connecting to others with stories is really a way to overcome that challenge and to well it did take a few years um, for my dad's condition to be reversed so once it was finally reversed that's kind of when I was I wanted to say something to some kids or somebody and I remember being at school and me and my mom would talk to all the kids and parents about it and not everybody really received that information well and I think mainly it's because they just weren't as educated or passionate about it as we were and I think that's where um, it definitely comes in how important education is about why you should be making healthier choices but um, over the years I kind of just went to my mom and I said I want to teach kids how to eat healthy and how cooking is fun and so um, my sister and I started a little cooking show called Kids Can Cook on YouTube and it, it was very small. Um, we just did these fun little videos, nothing professional, but um, people really liked it and it was making an impact. And over time, um, I wanted to do something even bigger. And so I applied to be a part of the Alliance for Healthier Generations Youth Advisory Board. And they chose me to be a, um, a member to really advocate for health and well-being to kids and adults. And that's where I started to work on motivational speaking and talking about the importance of kids and adults working together to get healthier.
I was about 10 years old at that time. It was just really sad to me because not every kid gets the opportunity to learn about this as a family or to just learn about it on their own because they don't really know where to start and they don't know how to make it fun and engaging. And so that's what um, really inspired me was, well, if a kid is telling them, maybe they'll think that it's not a lecture. It's not like your mom telling you to eat your spinach. It's more, I'm looking out for you as another kid and I want us all to live healthfully. Well, some organizations and um, individuals that I really appreciate for making the effort to bring nutrition education to people and making that accessible and affordable. Um, I actually, I'm an intern at Canyon Ranch Institute with former Surgeon General Dr. Richard Carmona and their organization is working on bringing all of these incredible programs like a life enhancement program and healthy community, healthy garden programs to people in underserved communities who really need this information and really need to realize how important it is to take their health in their hands and so I'm really really lucky to work with them and to be a part of their movement to help others and I really admire them for really taking the leap to reach out to other communities. I've gotten the opportunities to work with incredible companies and organizations like Hyatt Hotels to build their um, For Kids by Kids menu, which is all about simple, healthy, delicious, and sophisticated menu items for kids. So there's no macaroni and cheese on the menu, there's no chicken nuggets, and we're really just making kids feel more a part of the dining experience in a healthful way. And so um, working with Hyatt really um, introduced me to more of the chef world, and it really allowed me to branch out and to start inspiring kids through healthy recipes, and um, I was able to go on the Food Network and share some of my healthy recipes, and so um, all of these opportunities have really come together and been a really grand way to inspire kids on many platforms. Well, I wish that the Happy Organization could reach all underserved communities because every child and family deserves to know what is in their food and how to make healthy choices to improve the well-being of their families and their own health. And I wish that um, everyone could have that information in an affordable or even free way. And that's what we do th with our organization. And so I hope to impact more communities and to get into schools and really educate kids when they're really young so they can make healthy choices and continue to make them over the years and so I would love to see Happy go not only national but also global. Well I think kids in underserved communities just are very grateful for what they already have and I'm sure they feel like there's not really another choice but there's always a way to get educated about health and well-being and that's why happy when we come in, we make it a comfortable situation for kids to talk about um, and learn about healthy foods and to understand the food processing and all of those things in a really fun and engaging way and I think that is the best way to reach these areas because it's not intimidating, it's not degrading, it's a comfortable and happy place and that's where people can really learn and be educated in the most comfortable way. Well, um, one simple way to support me and my organization and really the whole health movement is to just spread positive messages about healthy eating and to educate your friends and families about anything that you learn about health and well-being because it can really help and transform someone's life. But if you want to directly support me and my organization, you have, can of course make a donation, volunteer with our organization, and you can learn more information on how to do those things through uh, thehappyorg.org or haleyvthomas.com. My one wish for the future is that we can all have equal opportunities to be educated about health and well-being and that way we can all be our optimal selves which will open doors for us to be happier and more successful in the things that we love to do. Consciousness is being aware of yourself and others and what you love to do and really going for what you what you want and what feels right in your heart I think that is consciousness and 
um, doing things that are good for you and others. Age does not define anyone and what they want to do, and I think that's something that I also um, really speak to is a lot of the time people think that just because you're young you can't do anything, but I definitely think and I definitely know that's not true. I think if you're passionate about something and you want to do something good in the world, don't be afraid to do it because amazing things can happen. Yes, <laughs> I am the future.